Hey everyone, I'm Aviva, I'm Dev Advocate here at Helios, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use our trace visualization. For, one, for, for those of you who aren't familiar with traces, traces are just an aggregation of all the operations that occur in your distributed system that's triggered by a specific request. And you can read more about that in the link below. But now let's see our platform and how do we visualize traces. So here is our platform. On the left side, you can see all the services that Telus is installed on them. On the, the middle, you can see all the entry points for each specific service that you chose. For example, if you choose the email service uh, uh, service, right. you can just see all the entry points. And if you choose the API service, you again can see all the entry point. Entry point is, is just a bundle of HTTP action and, and the URL. Um, now, when we select any URL that we want, we can see all the specific traces that relates to these specific URLs. And now uh, I want to visualize one of the traces and understand better what occur in uh, this specific trace. So we have all kinds of traces here, but I'm seeing a specific trace with error. I can see in a summary of the trace here. I can expand this error and see more details about the trace, but let's visualize the trace. And now you can see a visualization of the trace and you can see everything that is going on. First, you can see what triggered the trace. You can see the attributes, the payloads that triggered the trace. And you can see how data flow inside the system, inside the trace. So here, for example, you can see that there is another REST request to another service and we can see all the attributes of this request. And you can see that there was a call to Postgres. And again, you can see all the data, the attributes. And on the right side, you can see that there was a Kafka message broker. And you can see how data sent into the Kafka. You can see the attributes, the payloads. You can see how data is consumed. And also, if there are any error logs, you can see those error logs and better understand what happened. We actually uh, relate the error logs to the trace, and then it help us help you to better understand any issue that occur in your system. And again, you can see that there was a Stripe request that failed, and you can see all the attributes and all the data of this specific request and the specific error. So let's assume that we solve the issue, then the issue of calling to Stripe, and now we want to visualize the trace without this specific issue. So what I would do is just to visualize the trace without the issue, and let's see how it look like. Let's give it a more few seconds. And now you can see a full trace. First, you can see what triggered the trace again. Second, you can see that the same request to Stripe that failed before now succeeded. You can see all the attributes and all the payloads all over again. You can see that there was a call to DynamoDB. You can see that there was another call to SES. And again, you can see all the relevant data. On the left side of the screen, you can see all the spans. Spans is just a, the building block of a trace. So you can just select any span that you want and find it on the graph. More than that, you can search for a specific span. And you can see it. Oh, we don't have a Kafka span, sorry. Um, we have just, we are using Kafka. Uh, we are using Kafka in specific spans, so we can just uh, see the relevant spans that relate to the name that I wrote here. And more than that, you can see the duration of each span in a trace, and you can see the commit hash of each service. And that's all basically about trace visualization. So I hope it was really thoughtful for you, and you learn how to use traces. And uh, it's important to say that we have many, many more capabilities inside our system, but this is only, and this is only the visualization part of the, of the system. So uh, I hope it can help you do anything that you want.